Cause we is back once again with another reaction video, bro. And today I'm coming back with some more reactions, horror stories, bro. We about to get into this right now, bro. So if y'all are new, go down, like, and subscribe to the channel down below for more reactions, bro. And if you guys don't subscribe to the channel, that's all right. At least hit the like button, bro. We about to get into this, man. Hopefully y'all day going is, is going by good. Um, let's get it, bro. Hit me up with another video request if you guys want to see me um, react to some more videos. Let's get it. Store number I joined one. a this gym, gym for the first time three months ago. Now, a gym is really the last place you'd ever expect something scary to happen. Right, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Last what? week, I had the most horrific experience of my life. I wear one of those wireless headphones when I go to the gym that's because the wired ones always get in the way and they're just annoying. Dude, bro, that's what I'm saying. Like, dude, that's like I that's like I literally just yesterday because I like I'm when I, when I do my workout, like, bro, like the the wire gets so like tangled up and it gets so annoying, dude. Like, I'd be ready to punch the wall. Like, bro, it'd be so it'd be so annoying. So I I get some wireless, man. But anyway, let's get it. Let's, let's continue. Sometimes I'll leave my phone on a workout machine when I walk to the water fountain. And when the phone gets too far from the headphones, the headphones start getting staticky before disconnecting. I only knew because it happened a couple times before when I walked away too far from my phone in the gym. Well, one late night last week, I was one of the last people still in the gym. I was on one of the seated leg machines. I began my set of 20. While I was pushing towards my final reps, the music in my headphones started getting staticky until my headset said, disconnected from phone. I stopped my set and reached over to the phone compartment on top of the machine, and I filled with worry when I couldn't feel my phone. It wasn't there. I looked around the gym desperately, thinking someone might have taken it. I only saw two other people in the whole gym though, excluding the guy sitting at the front desk. One guy was really fat and sweaty, and the other guy was sitting on one of the machines looking down at his phone. Which one could have taken my phone, if either of them? I had to approach the guy sitting on his phone, as much as I didn't want to. He had earbuds in, so when I approached him, he looked at me with a confused look on his face as if he didn't want me to be talking to him. He took one earbud out and looked at me, and I firmly asked him, Did you take my phone? He looked at me in silence for a couple seconds, then said, No. There was obvious attitude. I asked him if he saw anyone else walking by recently, and he just shook his head no. For some dumb reason, I said thanks and walked away, when I deep down wanted to tell him to quit being a dick. He was being sarcastic. I went to the front desk and asked the worker to check the video cameras and see once and for all who actually took my phone. As the guy working the front clicked around on his computer, the rude guy who I spoke to walked past me and out the exit. The worker then turned the computer screen so that I could that see him. it and clicked play on a video which showed the guy who left 15 seconds ago taking my phone. Yeah. I thanked the employee and ran to catch the guy who just left, but nice. by the time I got outside, the guy was nowhere to be found. The scary thing that sunk in right away was the fact that I recently disabled my passcode lock to my phone. Uh, he had access to all of my apps, all of my texts, pictures, emails, all of my data, basically. Dang. I went back inside and asked the employee to track that man's membership info. But when he checked the cameras, the guy didn't even check in. He simply walked past the counter unnoticed. So there were no what? records of this guy even being a member of the gym. The footage showed that he suspiciously walked around between machines, looking around a lot like a nervous person. Uh, he was, he was ready to I asked attack. the employee to report that to the police. He said he'd show it to his boss tomorrow. The next day, I called my best friend Tom so I could tell him why I wouldn't be answering texts for a while, and to also see if he could tell all my other friends what happened. He that started sucks. freaking out on the phone, begging me to tell him I was kidding about losing my phone. He told me, Someone had been sending him texts and came to his house. I didn't understand, so he said he'd be over to show me. Ten minutes later, Tom got to my house and showed me a long conversation between him and someone using my phone pretending to be me. It started out with the person on my phone saying, Hey, can oh I stay God. at your place tonight? I got in a huge fight with my parents. 
Tom said, yeah, let me know when you come over. Oh my gosh, And the guy who scary. was using my phone said, can you just leave your back door open? I'm going to be over super late and I don't want to wake you. The conversation <sighs> went on a little while longer before Tom finally agreed to just leave his back door unlocked. Uh... Tom went back to sleep under the impression that it was actually me who would be coming through that back door. It wasn't. When we finished reading the conversation, Tom looked up at me and said, The cameras. We rushed to his house together and watched the footage captured on the cameras throughout his house. I was disturbed, but also not surprised, to see that man from the gym who took my phone walking in through the back door of Tom's house. He scavenges the place, grabbing expensive household objects and throwing them in his pockets. He moves from the den to the kitchen and eventually to the upstairs. I saw the fear in Tom's face when he watched the man on the camera in the upstairs hallway open his bedroom door, step in for about 20 oh seconds, God. and come back out, leaving the door open. The man was in the house for about 10 minutes before sneaking back out the back door. It looked like he took a lot of valuables. Tom you know how scary that is? Footage. Just Had some random room. stranger, some stalker, killer, murderer, like it's in your room, dude. That's crazy. Like when you're asleep, you don't even know about it. But he is in your room. That's crazy. That's what scary when I went stuff. back to the gym, the manager told me she'd be sending their footage as well. Three months later, not a word from the police. So whoever stole my phone and they snuck into Tom's work. house got away with it scot free. Wow. We about to react to all of these stories, all in all in this one video. Was the night I couldn't do it before because my channel wasn't um wasn't verified, so I couldn't do over a 15 minute video. But we about to just continue right on story number two. Let me know what y'all think of the story number one. I currently was, go to a 24 hour creepy. gym in my town. It's usually on the quieter side most of the day, but during the night hours, oh it really becomes a ghost town. I don't quite understand how they could afford to stay open 24 seven. Anytime I had to work late one night to cover for someone else's shift, so I got off work at 11 p.m. I planned on heading right over to the gym to get a quick midnight workout in. When I got there, nobody else was there. I was the only one working out. Well, only for about 10 minutes, until I finally spotted someone else working out. It made me feel a little less odd for being there so late. The guy was wearing a beanie and a hoodie. I was sweating just looking at him, to be honest. <sighs> I mean, yeah, a it was cold, out, it wasn't cold in the gym. I barely had enough time to analyze his odd clothing decision before he started staring me down. I looked back for as long as I felt comfortable before deciding to look away. <laughs> I felt like he seemed to be challenging my dominance because I still felt his stare through my peripheral vision. I kept shooting brief looks back at him to still find him staring at me. I tried my best to ignore it and went on with my workout. I just couldn't take the staring anymore, though. <laughs> so I went to a different like, section of the gym, yeah, yeah, where problems. there was absolutely no one around. You always staring at me. I was finally able to work out in peace. I was doing bicep curls by the free weights while facing the mirror. That's when I noticed it. That guy in the beanie was hiding behind one of the chest press machines. That's... There was a slight opening between the lifting mechanism and the actual weights on the machine and through that opening was the guy's face, once again staring at me. I think when he realized that I noticed him, he moved away out of sight behind the machine. I'm way too timid a person to go approach anybody like that, so instead of confronting him, I put the weights down and left the room. I walked straight to the front desk and asked the girl working to tell the man to either stop staring at me like that or to leave the gym. She looked down the aisle of workout machines and saw nobody. I asked her to come follow me, she was clearly very reluctant to do so, but she ended up coming with me to the back room. We looked around the room, but he wasn't in there. In fact, it seemed like he wasn't even in the gym anymore. I apologized and told her to keep an eye out for the man in the beanie. She walked back to her desk, and I kept working out for another 10 to 15 minutes. I waved goodbye to the girl as I left the gym and went to my car. As I put the key in the door lock, I heard manic footsteps hitting the concrete. I was confused at first. It sounded oh, like somebody like running in my direction. I turned 180 degrees. Someone was sprinting towards me from the dark. I stood like an animal frozen in headlights for a second as I stared in shock. 
When the person emerged into the circle of light under the light post I was parked under, I was able to instantly recognize the guy in the beanie and hoodie from earlier. I opened the car door and jumped inside, slamming it shut behind me. I slammed my hand down on that tiny lock knob atop the door handle a split second before the man tried to open the door. As I started the car, he started to kick at my door and window. I threw the handle into reverse and stepped on the gas. The car jolted backwards away from the man and I was able to escape the parking lot safely. I got home and found a bunch of dents in my door from the man's kicks. Admittedly, I should have called the cops or even the gym and warned the girl of the man now that she was alone. Instead, I selfishly just went to bed and told myself I would never go to the gym late at night again. So he didn't even tell the warning, a dang gone lady. Like what? Why he didn't tell a lady? That's crazy. Hey, you gotta be careful with stuff happening at night, man. Crazy stuff happened, bro. Crazy people come out at night. The freaks come out at night. Hey, 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 the freaks come out at night. <laughs> Alright, well let me know what y'all thought, thought of that one. Compared to the first one, I'll say the first one was a little, a little mm, the first one was better. The second one, it was just a guy at the late night at the gym, but then he just started staring you down and then he tried to break your break in your car, I guess. Like like I don't know. It's not really that scary. But the third story, bro, let's get it. I used to work nights at a twenty four hour fitness in New Jersey. I had a love hate relationship with these shifts. I loved it because very few people would come in during the deep night hours, meaning less people checking in and less weights I had to re rack. I hated it because it meant I had to spend the graveyard hours sitting at a desk doing nothing while everybody else was asleep. Right. Still, maybe you would think many strange things would happen during these hours. Uh, or maybe you wouldn't. It's a gym. What could happen? Actually, only one strange incident ever happened while I was there. I was sitting in a chair behind the counter reading a magazine. Then, out of natural curiosity, I turned to do a little people watching. Well, I guess you would call it person watching, because there was only one guy in the gym. He wasn't doing anything though, he was kind of just pacing slowly down the gym, looking around. There's a cutoff between two different sections of the gym, the front and the back. He made a left turn past the wall that separated the two sections, and then he disappeared from my view. So it was back to reading for me. Ten minutes <laughs> passed and I forgot the guy was even there. Then suddenly, everything went dark and silent. Like, mm. literally, the power in the gym just shut out. All the lights turned off and all the music went dead. What? It was so dark, I couldn't see two feet in front of me. Thank God our phones have flashlights these days. Otherwise, I wouldn't have known what to do. I turned it on and tried to think of what I should do next. I knew some kind of power box was in one of the storage rooms connected to the back section of the gym. I also knew that's exactly where the one guy working out happened to be. On my way there, phone slash flashlight in hand, I called out for the patron over and over. Now I was in the back section, still calling for him. Why on earth would he not answer me? It was there was in. something so eerie about being in a silent pitch black gym and seeing all the workout equipment only through a flashlight. I found the power box in the back storage area, or I guess what I thought was the power box. I tried flicking on and off every possible combination of switches, but the power did not come back on. Since I couldn't figure it out, I guessed it was on me to close up shop and wait for Kathy, the owner, to come fix it tomorrow morning. But first I had to find that guy. I did a thorough scan of the whole back go? section. Behind all the equipment and all the janitorial closets, nothing. The only other place I could check back there was the women's bathroom. I opened the door and called for him once more. My voice echoed into the seemingly empty bathroom. Still, I had to double check to confirm. I made sure to point the flashlight in every possible direction so I could see every inch of the bathroom. The only place to check now were the stalls. Before I could open either of them though, I started to hear noises. Breathing noises. Like sickly, deranged breathing noises. I had my hand on the door, ready to push it open but I couldn't bring myself to do it. I said, are you in there? No answer. I got on my knees and looked under the stall door with my flashlight. There were two legs standing right behind the stall door, practically inches from my face. He was literally standing on the other side of the stall door. I quickly got up and left the bathroom, heart racing. I ran to the front desk and tried to figure out what to do. 
I tried yeah, calling Mary, aka my boss, but obviously she was asleep by this time. I left two different voicemails on her phone. The only other thing I could think to do was call the cops, and so I did. I didn't know what else to say other than there was a suspicious man in our gym and I was 90% sure he somehow cut the power. I hung up the phone and felt alone and horrified in the darkness and silence. I can't even get out of there. Suddenly, a metallic hit sound came from across the dark gym, like one of the machine's weights being dropped. Mm. I shined the light down the gym and called for the patron once more, and then called out that we're closed and that he had to leave. Then I think I saw him. I saw someone walking between two machines before getting too far from the light to see. It seemed like he was messing with me now. I shined the light in the direction that he was walking, and I swear to God, it looked like just at the edge of the light, there was a face looking at me. The blue and red lights from the cop car outside lit up the front section of the gym briefly. A cop knocked on the now dysfunctional front door, and I physically opened it to let him in. He took out his flashlight, greeted me, and said he'd take a look around. All I saw from the front desk was the light of the officer patrolling the whole entire gym, including bathrooms and closets, before coming back to me and saying it's empty. Nah, he suggested that whoever empty. it was left through the back door, and that I should lock up and come back tomorrow morning. And that's exactly what I did. By the time I got back the next morning to check on things, Kathy was already there. Apparently it was just a simple power outage the night previous. Kathy and I checked the camera footage the power together artist. in those brief moments before the power went out. We checked for the guy I described, but he wasn't there. There was no footage of him entering the gym, there was no footage of him working out, or even just walking around the gym. What? Kathy looked at me like I was a loon, but I was <laughs> too frozen with shock and confusion to care. <laughs> I swore up and down to her that someone was there that night. To That's this day, crazy. I don't know if she believed me. What? I don't even know what to think of that night, but I know I saw someone there that night, regardless of what the cameras might have shown. Must have been a ghost. That's kind of creepy. I like the third story the best because, like, it, it still leaves you like questioning, like, where the heck he came from then, if 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 he didn't work out or that it was no footage of him coming or in there in the gym. Like, where did he come from, Brad? Like, did he see something, or was it a ghost, or was he real? You know what I'm saying? Who knows? Did he? Sneak into the, sneaking into the gym or what? Like by like the bathroom and who knows, bro. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. And if y'all new, I would appreciate. I would appreciate if you guys go down, like and subscribe. If you guys are new, hit me with another reaction um, request. If you guys want to see me react to any more videos, I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. Like and subscribe down below if you are new, and if you guys don't subscribe to the channel. At least hit the like button, bro. Let's get it.